what's up gamers welcome to or welcome back to my channel in this video we will be discussing Hu Tao and whether she's worth your pull on the second half of 5.1 so if you enjoy content like this check out my previous two skipper summon editions on both Ryan Shogun and Chiori the Ryan Shogun one was a little bit more last minute hence the name and without further ado let's begin Hu Tao is a 5 star Pyro Polarn Hyper Carry released way back in 1.3, and she was once considered the face of Pyro DPS units until the release of Arlecchino, but she's still great to this day. Her kit revolves mainly around her elemental skill, and when pressed, it will consume 30% of her current HP and convert a percentage of her max HP into a massive attack buff and grant her a Pyro infusion for 9 seconds. While in this state, she gains access to faster charged attacks with higher scaling and no ICD, meaning the optimal way to abuse this is to spam charged attacks while vaping each one against a Hydro Aura, but more on that later. Her burst deals a massive single instance of damage in an AoE around her, scaling from her max HP, and it heals Hu Tao based on whether she's above or below 50% HP, and how many enemies she's hit. Her passives grant her 33% pyro damage bonus when below 50% HP and the rest of the team 12% crit rate once her infusion state ends. And that's really her kit. It's important to clarify that while her kit requires her to use her skill to activate her infusion state, the damage she deals via her normal, charged, and punched attacks all scale with her normal attack talent multipliers, meaning you'll want to level her normals, then her skill and burst. With that out of the way, it's easy to see how Hu Tao has managed to keep such an impressive footing in the meta, even to this very day. She has access to a pyro infusion, gives herself a massive attack buff based off of her HP, which makes her tanky despite technically being low health most of the time, her charged attacks have deceptive range, no ICD, and no limit, meaning you can spam as many as you can, manage, within her 9 second infusion state, and she has an AoE nuke on her burst that heals her. Her kit is very self-contained and just functions at base, but when you make it so that you can vaporize each of those charged attacks via teammates such as Sing Cho, Yelan, Farina, etc while buffing her damage through their respective beats, aside from the carries like Nuvalet, Ayato, etc. The main drawback to all these perks and benefits she has is that at C0, you have to spam jump cancels, which can be annoying, especially on mobile. However, it was more or less a non-issue since, until you got her C1 and gained the ability to spam charged attacks without consuming stamina, jump cancels were the most efficient means of spamming as many charged attacks as possible without ruining your stamina bar. That is, until Xian Yun entered the ring. Xian Yun's burst allows any member of the team to spam plunge attacks, and since plunge attacks have no ICD, and Hu Tao gives herself a pyro infusion, and also works well with Farina, who happens to enable Xian Yun to be as strong as she is, and you have potentially Hu Tao's strongest C0 team to date, possibly invalidating her C1 with its mere existence. However, with the release of Shilonin, you can replace Xian Yun with Shilonin and access Red Shred that Xian Yun can't give you since Hu Tao's Pyro Swirl setups are a form of punishment and Xian Yun won't consistently or ever swirl Hu Tao's Pyro application. Meaning, you get the benefits of Xian Yun without her plush attack buff specifically, but considering the boost Shilonin gives Hu Tao's damage across the board unconditionally while still healing just for not as much, it's extremely competitive. Hu Tao remained at the top of her class for years until Arlequino released and essentially power crept her. A pyro infusion gained from her E, but it lasts longer, an HP mechanic, a burst that heals, a polearm. The only main but deal breaking difference between the two is that Arlequino deals her damage mainly through her normals and can maintain her infusion almost indefinitely. 
swapped out Null, which just feels so much better to play and gives her such flexibility in team building as well as versatility on the field in handling scenarios who Tao wouldn't vote as well against. As a result, Arlequino snatched Hu Tao's throne and has remained among our holy trinity since release. What does this mean for Hu Tao in 5.1? Well, it means that there is a newer, more lore heavy, highly anticipated unit with the same element, weapon type, and borderline playstyle as her, and they do it more efficiently and flexibly. This still leaves her in the very impressive spot of number 2. She hasn't suddenly become garbage, but I think I speak for a lot of us when I say that once you play Arlequino, it's kind of hard going back to Hu Tao, unless she's like your waifu or something. With that being said, with the release of Shieldin, who fits in two Farina teams as a healer quite well, but a single target healer, Arlequino, who can't be healed, sort of invalidates that part of her kit which then invalidates Farida's burst for the most part, and it all falls apart, so if you have Farida, Shilonin, and Yelan or Singcho, the third slot is relatively flexible, so long as the Hydra Aura isn't disrupted. Pulling Hu Tao now to have a strong fake team on hand for the time being isn't a bad choice either. This is especially true for newer players looking for a DPS ASAP. Hu Tao is still a very strong and solid option, even without a lot of the meta, you know, supports. More so for the early game than the late game that is, but again, targeted towards newer players. So to summarize, should you skip or summon Hu Tao? I'd say this is a hard one to say, mainly because while Arlequino exists and is advisably the stronger option between the two, again, Hu Tao hasn't suddenly stopped working and especially if you own Farina and Xian Yin or Shilonin, you'll have a very strong and consistent team for her. I will say, speaking from experience, you'll need higher investment on Hu Tao if you want to make her work in her old double hydro teams like a Sing Cho, Yelan, Zhang Li core, since it's pretty outdated. If you don't have a Xian Yin, Shilonin, or at least Farina, it might be better to skip and wait for Arlequino. However, if you're a Hu Tao needer, a new player, again, looking for a solid DPS option, or just looking to add solid units overall to your roster for team variety, she's definitely worth a summon. And that's going to conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed hearing my thoughts and opinions on Hu Tao and whether she's worth your pull or not when her next rerun comes around. Again, if you enjoy content like this, check out my previous two Skipper Summon videos on Raiden and Chiri respectively. Like and subscribe so I know to continue making content that you enjoy, and I'll see you all very soon in the next video. Stand back! You're toast! Drop the